One of the things that uh, old school guys used to do a lot of is flip. And mainly what you're trying to do is, it's not pitching, it's flipping. You're just gonna be able to close in combat, drop that bait in there, and then let it fall to the bottom, jerk it a couple times, do it again. And then what you're doing is you're trying to really siphon every little place that you can't hit if you're pitching. You know, a lot of times you use a power pole again to be able to do that, but Donna, uh, uh, D. Thomas was the originator of this. Gary Klein, there's a lot of guys in the pro game that they still, they still like to flip. And main reason is you can get right on top of them. You can get right in there on top of them, be able to pitch all around there, flip around there. And like, you can see these bushes, you know, they're all gnarly and everything else, but you can put a bait pretty easy just about every spot you want to. Key is, is that you want your line, when it hits the bottom, to be taut. So what you want to do is you want to be able to pitch, and then when your line comes in, it's what you want it to be taut right here. You want it to be so that you got no slack in it, because what will happen is you'll lose a fish if you don't. That's kind of the deal. That's flipping. And the neat thing about flipping is, boy, you can get right on top of them. And you're using a heavy stick, typically that's why they got a flipping stick. You want a, probably a seven foot, seven foot two, or even longer. Uh, a lot of the guys started out, they were using over eight foot rods for this technique because they could reach back in there further. Well, one, one of the problems I have is I'm short. So I'm looking for any uh, leverage capability I can get. So I want a longer rod. A lot of the guys that are, that are really good at the, at the flipping technique, they like a long rod because they can really wrench them and get them out of, the, out of the heavy cover. And here you've got a bunch of bushes and stuff. You could sit here for 15, 20 minutes if you knew there was fish in here and really pick it clean. And you can get up in it a little, little bit further. If you were trying to cast to that or to pitch to that, you're, there's no way you can get it in there. But to do the flipping technique, you can just put it right in there and drop it right inside, let it drop over the edge of the, of the water, drop in into the hole. And the next thing you know, you can pull it right back out and do it again. So you got all this capability to be able to put the bait in precise, in precise locations, but also be able to wrench that fish out of there. And that's why it has, your line has to be taut when it hits the bottom, that's what you want it to do. One key to flipping is that you've got to have your hands ready at all times. So when that bait hits the bottom, I like to jerk it a couple times. I use a rattle a lot of times in baits when I flip. And you just hop it a couple times. When he hits it, you've got to have your hands ready. You don't want to have to be changing hands and all that kind of stuff. And that's the key to, a lot of guys will use a, a different reel to be able to get that done. They'll use a left-handed reel. Denny Brower, another guy, all, all those guys, that are real good at flipping, but it's kind of losing favor. That's the thing about flipping is it's kind of losing flavor, uh, flavor because uh, or favor because guys have found out that they can pitch like this and be able to get the bait where they want it to. But if you want close in combat and you want to get in and get into the center of a bush, there is no better technique anywhere than flipping. Check us out at wired2fish.com.